Insanity is considered to be an illness of the mind. While some use this word to describe behaviors and people who do not conform to the norm, its true definition is to try something over and over again while expecting a different result. This term was also used to describe some artists of the symbolist movement. The Russian symbolist movement occurred mainly during the late 19th century and early 20th century. This was an escapist movement which moved away to remoteness and culture. Symbolists feared the future and used their eschatological art to express the impending crisis. Common aspects of symbolist art were synesthesia, crepuscular themes, and colors resembling to twilight with blues and purples. Mikhail Vrubil was the first Russian artist to question the idea of realists. His paintings move people away from trying to read paintings and towards focusing on how they saw paintings. With his explorations, art in Russia began to move towards aesthetic painting and later abstraction and therefore considered to be the first Russian symbolist painter. Despite his great contributions to Russian art, he was considered very mentally unstable and was permanently admitted into a hospital for the second time in 1905 until his death. His excessive repetition of drawing and painting the demon from Demon, a poem by Mikhail Lermontov, certainly fits the description of insanity. However, there are other factors such as traumatic family events and other health issues which certainly may have contributed to his diagnosis. This essay will help discuss how, despite his hospitalization and insanity in his final years, his previous work pertaining to the demon should not be discredited. Psychiatrists and clinics' fascination over Rubel, his art, and his tragic death formed an umbrella of stigmatism over artists of this time. A quality that drew that attention of the early Russian psychologist was the demonic quality of his paintings, which can be seen in the ambiguous and subterranean aspect of his art. And additionally, critics mentioned the common aspect of psychological states between myth and fable and sleeping and walking. A very common assumption is that most psychiatrists were attracted to his obsession with the demon downcast as it was finished in 1901 and he was admitted into a psychiatric clinic in 1902. However, the aspect that really intrigued them was the bird symbolism, as it was one of the first psychological analysis of art centered around an image of an eagle, as well as over the course of history we can see the common metaphor of the man who flies free as a bird and his fall. This along with his hallucinations and alternating periods of apparent inactivity and erratic work strongly contribute to his diagnosis as insane.